Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Master Computer Science Subject. In this video, we see what is the structure of the object file. Let us recollect once again what is the task of assembler. Assembler takes source program as input and produces the object code in the form of a file as output. So let us uh, understand what is the structure of this object file. Assembler writes this object program in the form of a file. That file is known as object file. Let us understand what is the structure of the file. The object file contains majorly three types of record. One is header record, the text record and the end record. In order to differentiate among the records, the record begins with the letter respectively H, T and E. Let us see what is there in the header record now. Header record column 1 contains the letter H. Column 2 to 7 contains the name of the program. 8 to 13, totally 6 columns are there. It is containing the starting address of the program. Then 14 to 19, once again there are 6 columns available, which is containing the length of the entire object file. Imagine this columns as an Excel sheet. Then it is easy, possible for you to imagine what I am trying to say. So, header file contains three important information. One is the name of the program, the starting address of the program and the length of the entire object program. Okay, now let us move on to the text record. Text record first column contains the letter T. The next six column is nothing but the starting address of the particular text record. Then two columns, eighth column and the ninth column is nothing but the length of the entire text record which is given in hexadecimal value. Then further 60 columns starting from 10th column to 69th column totally 60 columns are available in that object codes one by one it will be stored. Please remember every text record can maximum store up to 30 bytes of object code. If you remember this value it is easy to uh, write the object file if the program is given. Okay finally the object file contains the end record. It begins with the letter E. The column 1 contains the letter E and the next 6 columns contains the address of the first executable instruction. So in the entire object file there is one header record, one end record and the number of text record depends upon the length of the object file. Let us understand the same thing with an example here. See this is an example for an object program file. Right, so look into the very first line, what is given in the first row. It begins with the letter H. It means it's a header record. Further followed by the program name. Actually to store program name, there are six columns available. But here the program name contains only the four letters. So other two columns are left blank. Then this 1000 is nothing but the starting address of the program. Even the starting address is are also only four digits available. So the rest of the digits is filled with the zeros here. And the length of the object program is 107A. All, not all the six columns are used. So that is why it is pre-filled with the zeros. So this is completely the header record which contains the name of the program, starting address of the program and the length of the object program. Next let us see the text records. There are so many text records. The number of text records depends upon the length of the object file. So what is there in the text record? It begins with the letter T. Six columns are available to contain the starting address of the text record. So the starting address of this text record is 1000. Then 1E one is the length of the text record. Then this 141033 is one object code. 482039 is another object code. Likewise, the object codes are stored one by one. Okay, now let us see the next text record. This is the next text record, which whose starting address is 2039, whose length of the text record is 1E and of course there are some object codes available. Finally, there is end record which begins with the letter E and 1000 is the address from where the execution of this object file has to begin. So this is the starting address from where the execution of the program has to happen. Okay, now let us understand how this is being written with respect to the program. Right, this is a simple SIC program. 
the last column is nothing but the object codes in sic program every instruction is of 3 bytes in length we have already discussed this in sic architecture if you have a doubt please get back to the video and then continue watching this video okay first object code is 141033 each one is a hexadecimal digit and each hexadecimal digit occupies four bits that is half byte so this is four bits 4 plus 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 bits. So 24 bits means we know that every object code occupies 3 bytes. Alright. We know that the instruction format of SIC is of length 3 bytes. That's why the object code length is also 3 bytes. Right. Now let us see how this is being written in the uh, object file. Let us keep that in comparison. Yeah. H is the header record, name of the program is copy that is being written here and the starting address is 00100. Of course, the starting address of the program is being given as 1000 and let us see how the length is being measured. So, the program continues here and the last instruction is having the address 2079. In the location 2079, one byte information is available. So, this is the last address. So, 2079 minus 1000. It is nothing but 1079 plus 1, which gives the length of the program. The end address minus starting address plus 1. That is being given as the length of the object program. Now, we see how the text record is being written right for every object code it should be written in the text record yes we have started writing the text record with the letter t and this thousand is the starting address since six columns are available it is filled in six columns okay let us worry about the length a little later now you see the object codes have been written into the text record one four one zero three three four eight two zero three nine zero zero one zero three six 281030301015 likewise object codes are written already i said that maximum 30 bytes can be stored right so now look into the program here in the program each object code is of 3 bytes length if we, each object code is of 3 bytes length how many object codes we can store we can store 10 so let us count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so up to the object code 00102D, one text record can be written. So, for the rest of the object code, we should start writing the next text record. So, second text record begins from this object code. So, look here into the file. This is a second text record. The starting address of the text record is this 101E. Because still this object codes it is stored in the first text record. Now second text record is being written from this object code. 0C1036. Yes. 482061. All these object codes are available. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 into 3. 21 bytes are stored. That's all. The text record is written up to the last object code 0000. And then... Uh, after that, there are no object codes to be stored, so a break is given. I mean, the continuity is broken here. Why? That also I will tell you. See, after this object code, the program is written in such a way, against this memory location, a word is reserved. Against the memory or the symbol length, a word is reserved. Against the label buffer, 4096 bytes are reserved so for that and all memory locations are reserved right so up to this the object codes are stored and the continuity of the text record is broken that is why i said very clearly every text record can store maximum of 30 bytes it is not compulsory that every text record should contain 30 bytes of the object code okay now let us see the next text record here what is the starting address given? 2039. Right. Now we see what, where is the 2039 in the program. Yeah. 2039 is available here. 
its corresponding object code 041030 is written here then 001030 is continuously written E0205D is continuously written so how many object codes we can store of course 10 object codes we can store because which can accommodate 30 bytes up to 38203F the text record is created likewise text records can be created till the end of the program okay now i'll tell about the length of the text record if a text record is storing 30 bytes find the hexadecimal equivalent of 30 hexadecimal equivalent of 30 is nothing but 1e the length of the text record is also written in uh, hexadecimal value okay now let us consider this text record the value what is being given here is 1 5 right let us calculate the bytes 0 C put together is 1 byte because I said every hexadecimal digit is of half byte half byte means 4 bits so 0 C is 1 byte 1 0 is 2 byte 3 6 is 3 byte 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 bytes. So this text record occupies 21 bytes of object code. If you convert the value, decimal value 21 into hexadecimal, it is nothing but 15. So I hope with this example you would have got an idea about this object file. Please subscribe to my channel, share with your friends and make the best use of this video. Thank you so much.